Alright, so in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to make a boombox game pass in Roblox Studio so players can purchase a game pass and then have a boombox in your game. So, the first thing you're going to do is go to the top link in the description, it'll take you to this boombox. So, just get that, add it to your inventory, and then we can go back into Studio. So, now if you navigate to the view tab at the top, and then if you make sure the toolbox is open, and then go to this four boxes tab here for my models and insert the boom box. If this comes up, you can just click OK and then say no, I don't want it in the starter pack. And then we can close out the toolbox. So now if we go into serve script service and click the plus and then insert a script, we can then put the boom box inside the script and we'll just call that boom box script. So now we need to make the game pass itself. So if you go and find your game on the Roblox website, and now once you're here, if you go to the store tab and then click on add pass and then we need to add an image, give it a pass name and you can add a description. So first you need to add an image, so if you click browse and then once you've added an image, you can just give it a pass name, so I'll leave it as boombox. Then if you want a description, you can write one. But once you're done there, you can click preview and then click verify upload. And now your game pass should appear here. So click on that. And it should take you to the Game Pass page. So first of all, we want to make sure it's on sale. So you click these three dots and then go to Configure. And then go to Sales. And then turn on Item for Sale. And then give it a price. So let's just say it's 59 Robux. And then click Save. And now you can click Go to Details. And we need to get the Game Pass ID. So if you go to the URL bar at the top, there's this number here. You need to copy this number. Because this is the Game Pass ID. Right click on it and click copy. We can then go back into Roblox Studio and double click on this boombox script to open it if it's not currently open. And now we're going to make some variables at the top of the script. So first of all, I'm going to give the boombox game pass ID, set that equal to the number we just copied. And then I'm also going to make a variable for marketplace service, so local MPS equals game, come on get service, marketplace service. And now we've done that, we can reference the boombox itself. So we can go local boombox equals script.boombox. And now we can have an event that fires every time a player joins the game. Game.players.player added. Connect function. And then in these brackets here, we're going to take the player object. So I'll just say player. And then I'm going to open up the function. And now we want the function to run whenever the player gets another character. So we're going to say player.character added colon connect function and then we're going to take the char for the character and again you can open up this function so now we need to check if the player owns the boombox game pass so the way we can do that is say if mps colon user owns game pass async and a pair of brackets then the player's user id so you can do player dot user id and then a comma and then the game pass id which is boombox game pass id that we defined earlier and then you can say then so if the player owns the game pass then we're going to clone this boombox in the script and put it in the player's backpack so we can do that is say boombox colon clone and then dot parent equals player dot backpack so what this is doing is cloning the boombox in our script and it's putting that in the player's backpack so now if we go ahead and play this game and you can see now i've loaded in i have the boombox because i own the game pass and there you go, that's how you make a boombox game pass in Roblox Studio. If you found this helpful, please subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.